Hi guys, so you all know it's the East vs West game for Berlin. The NATO side for our Firestorm has made it into Berlin itself. Um, this is the 64 points that I'm bringing for East German. Uh, I would have opted to go Czechs, but uh, since it's a Berlin game, I think the East German should prove themselves to the overlords. So, what do I bring today? I'm bringing two T55 AM2 formations. You'll see the HQs in the front. That's the formation I sees. I have two core platoons of four T55s each and four T72Ms each in both formations. In both formations, I've also got a platoon of four Gaskins on each side. One of them has got Carnations, uh, three of them here, and one of them has four Shokas. One of them has got two BMP1 Scouts and one of them has one BRDM Scout. And then in support, I've got an Observer, two BRDMs, and three hails. So all in all, I've got 12 platoons. It's a fairly robust list. I know a lot of you in the comments are gonna say that it would be more optimized if I went with MSU, but I do not have 30 T55s and I don't want to get a 4-3 win because our fast storm is based on points. So I would like to try and get a 5-2 or a 6-1 at least. Um, it's gonna be tough because he's bringing a Leopard 1 Koi, which means he's got enough shots to take out all the small shit and force me down to a 4-3. By the way, let's take a look at what he's bringing as his advanced recon force into the Berlin suburbs. Okay, so what do we have with the West Germans today? Sean is playing the West German flight. It's his first time trying a Leopard 1 Koi, which I believe is actually the uh, Afkla room, is it? Is it oh, after room? This is the pure level one. It's a pure level yeah, one. Okay. So what do you have with us today, Sean? So I have, uh, as you can see, um, a platoon of four with the hair structure. Uh -huh. Another platoon of four with hair structure. This is my boss. Um, some holding power with infantry at the M113s 1 1 for the extra Milan. That's the same point, right? Seven yeah, point seven points, three. yes. Okay. Then we have, of course, you lose the, uh, you know, the 20 millimeter cannon from the mother. Those have been good for taking out transports and shulkers and stuff like that, but you know, but they, they will be just a holding force because most of my staff will be attacking today. Then we have another thing to help them. Essentially, another three Milans here because they are they, are, they will be used as uh, Jaguar tools. Instead of the Taos, they have the Milan equivalent. Then we have the last with the Mindlets. And we have four Japats as usual, which is in every list that I bring. So what exactly is integrated and what is uh, oh, support? Uh, for support, it's only just the Tornadoes and the last. Everything else is integrated. It's one company. So Jaguars are in as well? Yes. And these are the Jaguar 2s, which means that they are... The 8021, yes. They, they are the thermal, Milan. but they are not uh, 8023. Yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. How many points is it for three? Um, it's five points for... I don't know. The, yeah, there are five points for three. All right, you got to kill one platoon to make the points back. Let's yep. uh, go see the table. Hi guys, so this is Sean I'm playing today and this is the fast storm map that we are playing on. So uh, like previously explained, for every VP difference between your score and your opponent's VP if you win is how many points you can flip essentially. So every territory is one point and then if a territory has got a certain amount of VP like let's say the Ruhr has five VP, we need, we need to flip five of them and you can flip uh, less than that and then just contribute to the win as you go. Now last week uh, Nick Mun uh, Hopman Munterleber uh, pushed through Dresden and Berlin with a single win. They took Leipzig the week before, they took Dresden and now they've got one VP out of 18 in Berlin. So today's game is for Berlin. So Sean, what are you bringing today? Wait, what? The Leopard 1, right? Yeah, Leopard 1 company, yeah. And uh, what's, what's the idea behind the list? Um, the idea behind the list is to have the, the Jaguars, as you saw just now, mm -hmm. and the, um, the, infantry, the infantry platoon, they will just sit on an objective if there's one, mm -hmm. and hopefully they'll be, uh, be enough to deter the uh, whatever's attacking, whereas the Leopards will use their superior range, and they're pretty good gun, I would say, pretty and good I gun, and, uh, and they're high skill for Germans, West Germans especially, and they'll just attack, hit okay. the objective, and mass, you know. Okay, yeah. okay. And I know you're a very, very big proponent of the Leopard 2s. Yes. So how are you feeling about having no Leopard 2s today? Nothing invincible on the board. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. I, I've been so used to the fact that uh, when I play against Warsaw Pact, and they, I always ask, the first, the first question I always ask is, where are your T-64s? <laughs> uh, once I kill them, I go, whew, okay. That's one problem settled. <laughs> yeah. But today I won't have that. Pro I won't have that chance because whatever hits them, I won't even ask for your AT. 
because I'll have no save. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Well, you will get a save against infantry AT guns. Oh, right. But I don't right. have those. I don't have those today. <laughs> right. All right, guys. So you know what we're bringing today? Uh, he out I outnumber him. I've got. Uh, you have twenty six tanks, my friend. Twenty six <laughs> tanks on nine, so it's a three to one odd, roughly slightly above what it should be historically at two point five. But yeah. let's see how it goes. Berlin. To him. Okay, guys. So this is the table we're playing. It's uh, Berlin over here. I know it's not historical. I know there's a circus in front of Reichstag, and the Brandenburg's not really there. Um, but anyway, look, it's, it's just a representation. Uh, the mission we're pro rolling for today is because Sean is playing attack and I'm playing maneuver, we rolled a breakthrough and he has chosen to... Uh, I chose the diagonals to the top left and the bottom right and he was has to choose one to attack from. He chose this one closer to us over here and he's going to attack into there. Um, he's placed both objectives, one right in front of the Reichstag and one right in front of the Soviet checkpoint um, at the center of the intersection there. So, we'll just go to deployment. Uh, he has got full on, except for one who comes in flanking, uh, flanking delayed reserves and mine come on on reserves, but uh, I've got ambush. Let's get to it. Okay guys, we're done with the top, of, we're now at the end of the top of turn one. Um, the very first thing that Sean did was he laid his last fire down over there at the, oh sorry, I moved the range of marker. So that's his range of marker there. Uh, he did a range in over there. Uh, s silly enough, he actually bailed two T-55s, I, I, I rolled one, <laughs> both of them, and he passed both firepower checks to bail them. It's a little bit disappointing. But then when you consider that they fucking died right after that, it makes no difference. Um, I failed to remember that there was a single two-story building here. I put my range and marker on the stupid storage facility when there was a level two house here. He put his infantry inside and he punished me for that mistake. He killed two T-55s with that. And then the Leopard ones finished off the platoon. The Gepards having no cultural sense at all, decided to fire down through the Brandenburg Gate and hit the Gaskins on the other side. Uh, they will be reprimanded if they win this. <laughs> <laughs> Damaging the Brandenburg Gate, you asshole. Well. And then over here, we've got the... Uh, oh, okay, so the Leopard shot eight shots yeah. on five, so he hit six of them, yeah. which is really good. And then over here, it was mirrored by um, missing everything, all, all eight shots on that platoon over there. So they survived completely and they got wiped out. Um, the HQ fired at the Carnations and missed. And then the Jaguar 1s fired, uh, Jaguar 2s fired at the T 55s before they died and didn't hit, right? Yeah. Okay. So with that, it is now Defender turn 1. Uh, I will pop my ambush, I'll just declare that. But I will roll for my reserves. So, five! No! Okay, nope. well. That guy wants to get in? Yeah. Who? Oh, uh, yeah, well. He wants to. Whether he does is another thing. You're a jerk, No, he does sake. not want to get in. Uh, okay, I will pop my ambush and then uh, we'll be back after turn one, Defender. Alright, guys, we're now done and we're at the bottom of turn one. Uh, first thing I did was I popped my ambush. Uh, behind the carnations and then we move down over here actually no I move them I put them over here and then just move them behind cover um, over here the Gaskins did a cross here order and they all managed to pass amazingly on a 4 plus and a 3 plus 3 plus they all passed we moved out from the woods and over here to hide the HQ moved back as well because um, the leopard ones are on the way and then over there we did a uh, shooting from all the four T-55s. I forgot to move the HQ at the back, so he just did nothing, basically. But we fired enough shots to kill the four leopards once with basically all the shots here. So I think it's about right, because it's about six, four, seven. <laughs> yeah, I spent about 17 points doing it. Yep. Um, so one platoon for one platoon, but he's got less platoons, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, it's now to attacker turn two. And we'll see what happens next. 
his Milans are out of range for easy targets anymore, so we'll see how this goes. Okay guys, we're now at the top of turn 3. Um, this is what he did. His Jaguars over here, they actually failed to blitz so they just moved forward and then they moved behind the hedges over there. Uh, and then the Leopard 1s uh, swung behind. Uh, they just kind of moved right behind the Rex over here. And then uh, with the HQ still alive, they fired shots down at the T72Ms uh, over here. He bailed one, killed one. And then he also fired two shots down at the BMP Observer, killing them, and the Carnations killing one and bailing one. The T-55s over there, uh, they lost two, uh, th three, lost three of them, and then uh, the one of them's bailed. So you can see that three got hit, two, one bailed, two kills. Okay guys, we're now at the bottom of uh, turn 2. Uh, let's see what happened first. The very first thing I did was I threw a smoke down here, which kind of blocked off the Jaguars and uh, the Milan, so they can't hit that side of the table. They're going to have to, and they don't have range to see the rest, so they're going to have to force down. So I'm just trying to engage these Leopard 1s over here, and uh, I fired down, I bailed 2, I fucked up some firepowers over there. Uh, my Shilkas came in from reserve, so we came into the back, we fired everything into these Gepards over here, and we didn't really do very much. We killed two, bailed one, but he... Uh, we did two, 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 two uh, hits, uh, but he managed to save some of them, so that was pretty good. Uh, over here, the HQ and them fired two shots in here, we managed to range in. The range in actually did one of the bails, and the tank actually did not hit anything. So that was pretty bad. The HQ, uh, everybody, they all just kind of missed and they fired in. So it was pretty bad round of shooting for us. Um, and now we're going to the top of turn 3. He's rolling reserves. Didn't get it. So um, Okay guys, we're now at uh, the top of turn 3. Uh, this is what he did. Um, over here, the Gepard actually turned around. He did five hits, uh, four hits on the Shilkas, uh, bailing three, killing one. Uh, he failed his firepower on three. He only passed on one, so just that one guy's dead. Over here, uh, he tried to hit my HQ. He missed. Over here, he hit. He killed one more tank, and he did a double bail on the this tank over this T72. I passed my remount save, so he stays. Over here, he bailed the remaining two T55. I joined my HQ for my um, my morale check, and that didn't really work. I rolled a single one, so that was really bad. Uh, they decided to piss off. Uh, this always happens to me. I'm always rolling ones on the two plus saves for um, the the T72s. So I'm rolling my reserves now, and I've got one single tank coming in. I probably gonna bring in the T72s to come in and help out, try and clear up this this side of the board. Uh, before we we try and finish it, don't forget he did dash his. Uh okay, guys, we're now at the bottom of turn three. What I did was the T72s came on. We took one shot at them, and then we took three shots down range at the uh, Leopard ones. We didn't manage. We killed one tank. Uh, he jumped over to his H. Uh, another the other tanks. All the guys over here on this side, they fired in. They did absolutely nothing. We fired all the four shots. Uh, we only have four tanks left on that side of the table after the HQ ran away. Uh, we did try and hit one, and uh, I think we missed. We bailed one. We bailed one. We failed firepower. We bailed one. So other than that, nothing else. He's he's good to go. Um, he's gonna get, probably just gonna jump back in. The T72s uh, in the corner there are actually in range of the Jaguars. Uh, is in minimum marine so he can't fire but he will he will blitz most likely so we're now going to turn four all right back after that
guys, we're now at uh, the bottom of turn four. What happened here was uh, the T-72s, uh, the Gephards got into my side, so he just turned around and fired. The Jaguars fired two shots in, uh, three shots, he hit twice, he killed both the T-72s on the left, and then I'm rolling my morale now, it's a three plus, yes, I made it. And now I'm remounting. Four plus? Yes, you remount. So I've got two T-72s here, still alive, still good to go. Over here, the Gaskins were safe. Uh, my HQ was shot by his Milans in the building there. He managed to draw a bead on my guy, he killed him. No save, even at long range, because it's heat. Uh, the Leopards moved forward, they fired in, he took out these T-72s over here, and then he managed to wipe them all out. Uh, there were only two left, he actually did them in, he re-bailed one more, and then the HQ fired two shots at the Carnations, bailing one. Let me roll my morale. Yep, got it. So three plus, and I failed to remount. So that means that I still only have one operational gun uh, in the Carnation Platoon. Now I'm going to roll my reserves for the next turn, and okay. I'm just getting one, so I'm probably going to bring in T-55s. They're probably going to have to come in from this side, threaten him over here, uh, because I need to... I, uh, the, all, the objectives are going live soon. I could come in from either side, but I think I'm probably going to come in on this side. I need to take out this stuff. I can't. It's so much integrated. See ya. Okay, guys, we're now at the bottom of turn four. Uh, what we did over here was a T-55s came in on uh, the flank over there. Uh, we don't have a lot there left, so what we did was we ranged in over here, uh, spawning from the Gaskins. Uh, we managed to kill a Jaguar, um, and then over here what we did was uh, we fired over here. The T-72s came on, and then they fired directly through the Gepards at the um, Leopard 1s, and we didn't manage to do any damage. Uh, they, they both kind of missed, even though there was like that small sliver of shot over here. Uh, and then these T-55s, we fired down at them, and we killed one, so he's got to roll a morale save. Um, he has a HQ there and one tank left, so he's got a morale of 2 plus, so he's going to roll and... Yeah, he makes it, so that's a 5. Um, which means that we are going to... we killed one Jaguar, one Leopard 1, and that's about it for the turn. I'm going to roll uh, my reserves and then we should be good to go. Guys, we're now done uh, at the top of turn 5. Um, what happened is really the objectives go live next round, so he's put himself in a pretty good position. Um, what happened first was he got his infantry to jump out of the building over here. He fired down, he killed one, bailed one, so I gotta roll my morale. 3 plus, pass, and then remount. Yep, they get back in. So now, over here, the Jaguars moved. They didn't have anything to shoot at, so they just moved and held the ground. Um, I don't really know what he was doing there, but uh, whatever. And then over here, the Gephards, uh, they f fired in here. He bailed one of my T-72, T-55s, and then the Leopard did the other. He ba uh, killed one, uh, he killed two. Two of them are down, so I've got to roll. Uh, he did a double bail. Gonna roll a remount. No, he goes, so, um, that's not good. And, uh, the objective goes live. He's already on the objective, so he starts his turn. I'm going to roll my reserves and see whether we can try and push him off, and I think this is the only thing he has left that can do it. So, okay, four platoons. All right, every, everything's on. The T-55s and whatever is left, the BRDMs and a few other knickknacks. Okay guys, we're now at the bottom of turn 5, uh, the T-55s came in over there, we just moved on and then we fired in at the HQ on the objective, uh, he was within 6 inches, so uh, we just fired in and the shots got distributed. Although this platoon over here fired down range, uh, we missed, didn't do anything. Um, over here, the there are two gear parts left, so the BRDMs did. He's got to roll a morale check. We managed to kill one, uh, and he's got to roll a morale check. Four B, uh, 85 on uh, side of th two, so he's got to pass. And then over here, the T72 came out. We fired one shot at the Jaguar. We killed it, so he's got to roll morale for both. He's already failed the gear part, so uh, he just needs to roll. Oh, he failed. So the Jaguars run as well. Um, 
and then over yeah the both these platoons are gone uh, he's taking both of them off and that's good uh, the infantry over here okay so this is quite stupid the, oh, I ranged in my uh, hails from the Gaskin down on this point we hit all six teams uh, we missed all three infantry that we could not see and we hit all three um, MG teams inside they passed they failed all their saves and I failed all my firepower but if we had got the people who blitzed out and he failed all of them they all would have died so that was a little bit um, unfortunate I guess uh, but whatever it is I think we are calling it here because he does not have anything else that can get within eight inches on in his turn um, and you know there's not a lot left it's a lot of integrated stuff so thanks for the game uh, yeah Sorry, sir, request to get a little bit. It is 3,000 and above. Uh, five golf mic, uh, actually, amend altitude to send me to 11,000. Army 72010, send me to 2,000, I got you loud and clear.